Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. And with us this week, uh, with a home rodeo coming up this weekend, we decided to talk to the rodeo coach, Josh Simmons. Coach, thanks for being here this week. Thank you for having me. Well, Coach, as I said, there's a rodeo coming up this weekend, but we'll get to it a little later on. Let's just talk about uh, your fall season so far. How's that been going? It's been going good. <clears throat> we started out the fall season with a bang with a really great rodeo at uh, Missouri Valley, and then we just had mediocre rodeos, or just average rodeos from there on out, and um, hopefully um, finish strong um, at our home rodeo this semester. But there's still some, uh, the teams are still in contention, really, especially the women's team uh, is towards, they're in second place right now in the Ozark region. The men sit in fourth, but not too far out of third, uh, so they still got a chance to finish high up. Yes, yes. Uh, what do they have to do this weekend to, uh, to get up there? Um, well, of, of course, you got to win, um, <laughs> which is the easy answer. But um, you know, we got a lot of talent on our team. They just got to go do their job, and um, you know, you take care of the little things. The big things will take care of themselves. You know. And uh, as you said, you've been traveling a lot so far this year. Uh, no really close radios. I guess West Alabama is the closest, but you've kind of been all over. So uh, what's that been like, just being on the road every weekend so far? Oh, it'll wear you out after a, a little while, you know, um, all that travel. We're, like, um, we're generally gone Thursday through Sunday, and, um, but it's always nice to you know you've got a home rodeo, and it being the last rodeo semester, all the, the whole team is pretty amped up for it. But uh, traveling for y'all is not traveling like the football team or the basketball team. Uh, <laughs> they, they don't have to, they've got an 18-wheeler that carries all their stuff, but no. y'all are kind of moving y'all's own stuff. You have to take your own horse trailers, your your horses and That's all right. that stuff. So what's the whole preparation for a, a road uh, weekend like? Uh, it generally takes them about a day to get everything ready and um, we travel and um, teams of two, two trucks, two trailers and um, our general travel time generally around eight to nine hours per rodeo right. and um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, as you said, this weekend you're at home, and that's going to be a good opportunity for all the locals and the, the students to get out there and see the team. Um, just talk about the Trojan Stampede Rodeo and, and what people can expect. Um, the rodeo will start at 7 o'clock each night. They'll have all the events in rodeo with a few extra the college rodeo offers, such as the goat time and the breakaway, which are two of the women's events. And, um, of course, everybody's favorite event, the bull riding. And um, it's just a great rodeo. Um, we have professional stock contractors and rodeo announcers there. So it's the same thing as you would see on TV or um, quality-wise. And it's at the Pike County Cattlemen's Association, and that's where y'all practice. I mean, is there any really kind of home field advantage or, or home uh, rodeo advantage for y'all? Uh, yes, I mean, um, they're used to, uh, my team's used to the arena conditions, they're used to the setup for the boxes and the bucking chutes. I mean, you know, there's just so many things that are familiar to them and their horses, you know, which is another big aspect of the team is the, the horses they ride, um, absolutely. But, but the best thing probably has to be not having to travel and you just get to go, oh, yes. go there and, and you're ready to go and uh, your people get to sleep in their own beds and not have to worry about all the travel. That's a big advantage. <laughs> That's a big advantage. Now just talk about some of the uh, things we can look for, some of the, the competitors, uh, who, who and what events will be the most exciting to watch. Um, of course, the bull riding is everybody's favorite. Um, we've got Justin Walker, returning sophomore. Um, he qualified as a freshman to the college finals last year in the bull riding. Um, he'll be up Thursday night for um, anybody who wants to come out Thursday night. And again, Whitney Hazuri, she's qualified for the college finals twice. Um, she's there this weekend, and Cody Skelton. Um, we've got several um, national final, uh, college national finals qualifiers going to be up, and um, they're pretty exciting to watch. It's um, pretty cutthroat competition. Now, if you've never been, uh, a lot of people may have say, hey, rodeo, what am I going to see when I go out there? What will they see when they go out there? Um, in, in the men's events, you'll have the traditional events, which is saddle bronc riding and the bareback riding. And then you'll go to the timed event in the ring, which is calf roping, um, the steer wrestling, and the team roping. And the women's events will, oh, excuse me, and the bull riding, of course. And the women's events consist of the breakaway roping, the goat tying, and the bell racing. Now, do y'all, uh, I know it's, it's probably a family-friendly event, so Absolutely. for all ages, do y'all have like the rodeo clowns and things like that out there? Oh, we don't have any rodeo <laughs> clowns, but uh, we do have some attractions for the kids. We have some pony rides and stuff okay. set up at the rodeo. And, um, we've got some stuff where they can interact with the team and do a few things. It's, it's a, a fun-filled family time, you know, the rodeo is. And uh, I got some information. As you said, it starts Thursday at 7, goes through Saturday each night at 7 o'clock. Uh, tickets are $7 for children, $10 for adults at the gate, $5 for children, and $8 uh, before the event if you buy advanced tickets. And, of course, students get in for free like all other events. So really encourage everybody to go out there. I'm sure you would like a big crowd. Oh, absolutely. You know. <laughs> Definitely. And now, The People Files. Let's start it off with your favorite movie. Lonesome Duck. 
All right, why is that? Uh, just a cowboy way of life. You know, <laughs> I grew up watching it. My dad loved it, so, you know, it's kind of. Now, uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, steak. Steak and potatoes kind of? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, what music do you listen to? Uh, mostly country. Okay, uh, favorite uh, song or favorite, favorite artist? Um, the um, Joel Strait. Okay, all right. Um, now, what was the last book you read? Uh, the biography of George Bush. All right, and what do you like to do in your free time when you can get away and, uh, and get away from the rodeo? Um, I just love to fish and hunt. Um, we work a few cows, just anything outdoors. So you're an outdoorsman through yes. and through. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Coach, one more time. Uh, this weekend, uh, what are the times, place, all that? Um, this weekend, 7 o'clock each night, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, we'll be at the Pike County Cattlemen's Association. Uh, so we'd like to invite everybody to come see us. It'll be a lot of fun and a lot of excitement. And that's 231. If you're headed south uh, towards Dothan, it'll be on your yeah. left. Just look for the big Super Bowl <laughs> yeah. on the left. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for joining us here today, and uh, good luck uh, this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, stay tuned for what's coming up this week in Troy Sports. Trojan Sports Now.